Hello everyone, welcome back to another session. So in this session, I am going to explain uh, one of my real-time uh, requirement uh, with my current client. So the requirement is uh, whenever we upload the MT940 uh, file uh, through transaction code FF underscore file, there will be uh, accounting documents will be generated. If I take one document as an example, there will be two line items will be there, like uh, 40 main bank account debit and uh, incoming GL account credit. So in the incoming GL account, uh, in the assignment field, the six digit uh, number should be updated. They have some specific uh, value which is coming in the MD940 in tag 86. From there, uh, it's coming like a 12 digits number. Uh, out of this 12 digit number, system should have to skip the first two digits and last to four digits. And in between the six digits, system has to pick and uh, update in the assignment field. Okay, so for this, uh, let me show you the MD940. Yeah. So this is my MD940 file. So here you can see uh, the first one 20 is a, a date. Okay, and 25, this is a uh, account number. So I just masked it as a, and the 28C is a statement uh, number and ID. And then uh, 60F is uh, your opening balance in uh, that account. And uh, 61 is uh, the tra actual transaction, debit or credit, whatever it may be. It's, uh, in my case, it is a credit. C, here you can see, C, credit, uh, 970. And here you can see this is a tag 86. In the tag 86 is a note to pay. So the pay uh, information, like uh, here we can see uh, virtual account, uh, the testing one, two, three is, uh, is our customer number. And he is uh, giving the bank is also giving some number here. This is a 12 digits number. So out of this 12 digit number, system has to skip these two digits and then these four digits. And in between, what are the six digit value is there? System has to pick this value and update in the uh, my accounting document in the second line item, which is my incoming GL account only. The 50 incoming credit GL account in the assignment field, it should be updated. So, for this requirement, I have uh, tried with the set string, but unfortunately, the set string is not working. So, then uh, I have uh, gone for the user exit. So let me show you the user exit as well. So where exactly we have to uh, write the code uh, with the help of a web or all this thing, SMOD. So to view the user exit, you need to use the transaction code SMOD. Just hit enter. Okay, yeah. This is my uh, user exit, which uh, SAP has given to enhance the program. So give the uh, user exit name and then click on display here. Then here you can see the short text is electronic account statement. And then, <coughs> excuse me, yeah, here click on the components. And then here you can see, uh, this is, uh, uh, here you can see interpret note to pay lines of the electronic bank statement. Then uh, double click here. And then it will take you in the inside of the program. Uh, this is the actual the standard SAP given program. So here uh, include here we need to uh, change uh, write the coding uh, with the help of a paper based on our requirement so double click here and then here we need to mention that uh, we need to write the code uh, with the help of a paper saying that whenever uh, this house bank and this account id uh, is a processing uh, processing system has to check that tag 86 on that file and wherever a system find in the tag 86 wherever the system has find a 12 digit number out of these 12 digits keep the first two and last four and take the pick the six digits and uh, update in the assignment field of the uh, second line item so then uh, if you discuss this with uh, your wrapper you will easily write the code and based on that you can do the testing and uh, it will be updated so I have for this requirement, I have uh, such many forums and uh, or blogs and all, all those things that I uh, explored it, but nowhere, uh, no one has explained about this whole thing. So I just want to explain so that uh, going forward, uh, our SAP consultant will have some helpful with this video. Okay, so these are the 
definitely in this session. Yeah, thank you so much.